Welcome everybody to our YouTube channel and today as you see in the title we are going to show you how you test your alternator. In a previous video we addressed how you test your battery. When your car won't start it's like a process of elimination right? Unless you work at like a mechanic shop or something where you got these fancy um, diagnostic test, te testing kits. What you'll do is first test your battery, test your alternator, just work your way around, check your oil, see is your steering, um, is, is your wheel lock, locked, um, let's say you ran out of oil and now the engine is locked on you, just different things you want to kind of eliminate, check your fuses, you just want to check everything, right, your fuse box, then you start going on, maybe it's my starter motor, you just want to check all the basics, and today is a, is a basic step as well in checking your alternator. Changing it may not be as basic. It's not too hard, but it is a, a, a little tedious. However, we're not going to get into that in this video. We will get into that in a future video. But as for today, we're just going to show you basic basics on just testing your alternator, okay? So hope you're ready. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell because we did change the alternator and we have that video in store for you. Only by subscribing and hitting the notification will you be able to know when we post that. Finally, we do plan on doing some giveaways. We got a lot of products on our website. We have some gifts on our website in our gift center. Maybe there's something there that you like and you can get it for free. We're just trying to piss it together and see the best way to go about the giveaway. But it's something coming in the future, but it's only going to be for subscribers, right? exclusive to subscribers only and we'll figure out a way to get everybody involved in that so make sure you subscribe let's get started Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Before you get started, hit the like button and please subscribe if you like the content. All right, so today we're going to get into checking your alternator, right? This car I bought used and I bought it, but the previous owners, when I checked, some of the owners were um, like rental car services, right? So who knows what people did with it. And I always wanted to kind of work on it. Um, we're going to get into che che checking the alternator. But I really think um, the starter has gone bad. Because the car starts from time to time. As you saw in the intro. When you turn the key. If I stop at, at a grocery store. Try to get back in the car. You got to sit down. And then it starts off after a few minutes that's really a starter problem that i'm leaning towards could be a relay but either way when i checked my battery my battery was really low so now i'm going to check the alternator if the alternator is low as well hey we may have to do the alternator the starter the battery just different things you know who knows what kind of tune up they ever did what kind of maintenance was done or wasn't done to this vehicle being that it was a rental company what i noticed with these rental companies is they run these cars to the ground sometimes right they have to maintenance them when they have them but they'll try to mitigate uh minimize the services they do on them and just pile on mileages and then ship it off to the next person so when you get a vehicle from like a rental company um they may do all the the, the necessary services on it but when people rent cars they drive it recklessly right so you never know what happened and it's a perfect opportunity for me to just work on different things on this vehicle and get it to run as smoothly as possible so go down this journey with me and we'll get into it 
So we're going to start off in trying to diagnose this problem, right? This is your positive, as you see, as the red positive. This is your negative. If you look back there, there's a minus sign. It's dirty, but you can see that's a minus sign. That's your negative. Um, so I open this up. I have what's called a multimeter. It's called a multimeter because it tests because it tests your alternator. Alternator test. Let's see if I get out of the way so it'll be clear. And then I also test the battery, so it's a multimeter. And the way this works, you got two prongs. The positive, the negative goes first always. So you squeeze that clamp. You hook it up right there. So now we got the engine running. We're just going to do the same test. Hook up the negative. See, I clamped the negative on. Now I put the positive to test the alternator. The battery is now high. The alternator indicates a low output. So I got a low battery. As you see, look at the lights on that. The battery is high. The alternator is very low. The output on the alternator is low. So at some point I have to change the alternator as well. So I just cut that off. And now that the battery is charged, see all three of them are high right after the battery gets charged all three of them are lit so quick fix for now would be to change the battery but I know and you see as as the alternator goes off the battery power is down to low so the alternator is where it is because it's overworking to charge the battery and keep it going. So right now we're going to get to changing the battery on uh, the 2014 Kia Soul and uh, seems like in a future video I'll be having to change the alternator as well. The alternator output is still low but everything else is lit. So I know I gotta get to my alternator very soon. Now, as you see, we just checked the alternator, right? We tested it, and it's reading pretty low. Testing the alternator is the same as testing for your battery. Only difference here is, in this case, the engine is running. So that's the only difference. That's the key difference. So first, you start up the engine, and you use your multimeter, right? This multimeter, as I mentioned earlier, it's not the best, well, not earlier, but in a previous video, I believe, on testing the battery. This is not the best multimeter because this one doesn't give you to the actual decimal point accuracy, right? It just gives you a ballpark. And let's say the alternator power is somewhere around 12.3. If it doesn't hit a 12.5, it may say alternate is bad but a 12.3 alternator or 12.4 may not necessarily be all the way bad right so you don't know if you're on the low end of that 12 12 or if you're closer to a 12.5 that's the, the the bad thing with using this multimeter but for me i already had it and quite frankly buying this car used i just was going to change as much that i can change on it anyway 
So um, I didn't see the need to go get a better multimeter for this right now. I know I'm going to change the alternator. I'm going to change the starter. I'm going to change the spark plugs, try to get this vehicle as near as possible or running as good as possible. All right. So um, that was that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As mentioned in a previous video, we also plan on doing some work on a, on, a, on another vehicle. And um, there's going to be a lot in store for you all. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification. Leave your comment down below. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Hello again. Thank you for listening to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to drop the video a like and subscribe to us if you're new. Drop us a comment and let us know what you think.